Welcome to Daily Haley. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. One hit, one hit. Dead or alive. I can't focus. Oh, yeah. Hello again, YouTube. You may notice behind you that it is nighttime, and that's because that's how long I took to do this. First of all, just to get out of the way, I am so sorry if you hear my washing or my dishwasher in the background um, because I didn't think, you know, when I started it and then sat down to do this. I just didn't think. That happens a lot. So one of the reasons I've yet to film today is because I have been so busy writing. Um, I had a major breakthrough this morning when I talked to the person, the mystery person. Um, I interviewed him for about three hours this morning. Um, the plan was to just do a quick like, 20 minute interview. I just had a quick list of questions that I wanted to clarify as I went into writing today. And he has this way of... <laughs> I joked about it with him too. He has this way of turning a yes or no question into like a 20 minute answer and I love it. He's so quotable. Um, totally besides the point. Part of that interview was me kind of going, um, sort of breaking the rules of journalism a bit. Um, Cause as I've mentioned, the person who I am doing this story about is a close friend of mine and the kind of close friend that I would go to to talk about my writing blocks with and so I oh, I really needed to talk to someone about it and you know I, I don't normally talk to my friends about what I'm doing just because I'm really insecure about my own writing I don't know I told him how I was struggling to find really the overlying message of what the heck I wanted this story to say um, I mean I thought I knew but it just something it just seemed so superficial it was like really I don't know, like every time I would think about it, I was like, oh, this is such an obvious message. And it was almost a message I didn't fully 100% believe myself. Um, so I don't know why I was so crazy to think that that was what I wanted to do this about. But anyway, he was really helpful in um, getting me to let go of an idea that I had attached to in the beginning um, for whatever reason. Uh, for In this case, it was the title. Um, the idea of the title came to me pretty early on and I thought it just was so powerful that I clung to it but I realized it was really limiting because I mean the title of a piece says a lot I mean it usually plays into what the theme of your piece is gonna be uh, and so I didn't realize how much I was clinging to that and letting that steer the direction of my story um, and so he proposed to me a different title just one that he had come up with I don't know, it just came to him when he was thinking about like what he wanted the cover to be because he's going to be taking care of the cover. Um, and at first I was like, that is so stupid, like that is not the title, you don't get what I'm doing at all. But the more he kind of like explained, the more I was like, oh my god, oh my god. And it was such a revelation! I quickly ran around and I shut off my phone and I shut off my... Um, this is a phone, but it's not really my phone. I, just, um, I shut off everything, and then I was like, oh my god, what if there's an emergency? Like, what if, like, my brother gets in a car accident? And what if Zach, like, has a heart attack at work? And, like, I'm just really paranoid. But I'm like, okay, so I, I turned back on my phone and stuff like that. But I sat down by, on Zach's desk, because sometimes I like to work on his desk because it's really big and fancy looking. Um, and I just, I wrote, and I wrote with this new idea in mind, and I even pinned a post-it of what the new title will be, and I'm trying not to get attached to it, because that would be completely not learning my lesson, but it just really opened up the story to me, and now I'm like in love with the idea again, like when I first came up with it, and I, oh, I thought my battery died. It didn't die, okay. Um, I just, I don't know. So. I'm no expert, obviously, and but maybe if you're, you know, kind of going through writer's block like me, or you're not totally in love with your theme, you can think of, okay, what am I holding on to that I really just need to flush? So I guess that's my piece of advice today, if I'm even able to give advice. You decide if I'm qualified or not. And if you're not into writing, I just wanted to share that with you because, I don't know, I just got so excited about it again, and I'm still, I've got a little bit more to do today. Um, before Zach comes home, I just found out he's coming home an hour early. Exact. Um, which I mean, obviously, I'm happy to see him, but it's like, 
oh my gosh, I have so much more to do. Um, and that's why I hadn't done this yet, because I was gonna wait until I finished writing to do this. But that didn't happen, and I have to do it before he gets here, because otherwise I feel really insecure. Because the only thing that makes you feel more insecure talking to a camera by yourself is talking to a camera with people around you. <laughs> also, I apologize. I am not wearing makeup today because that's what I look like every day. So, just keeping it real. Zach gets to come home to this. I lied, I'm wearing um, eyebrow stencil because I have really delicate eyebrows. If you're wondering what I'm looking at, I placed a mirror behind my camera so that I can see myself. Because I don't have a fancy camera that can flip. Now I'm just stalling. But anyway, so that's my quick little update for today. I'm going to finish some more writing and hopefully, fingers crossed, tonight I finally get caught up with the goal I'm doing real bad. I mean, okay, another lesson for it. I've been writing every single day and I have been planning every single day. And I pretty much work, as soon as I drop Zach off at the train station, I come home, I work, I eat lunch, blah, blah, blah. So it's not like I'm not working, I'm always making progress, but it's kind of frustrating when sometimes my word count isn't where it should be. You know what I mean? Also, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who watched yesterday's video because I did not expect that many people to watch it and I know half the view count was myself. Whatever. And don't worry, you'll be sure to see some of Zach when he gets home because I think he is also the reason half the people watched it. Because he's adorable. Okay, see you in a bit. I just tried to eat some Campbell's cream of mushroom soup. And I put it in there. It is gray. The food should not be gray. And guess what it tastes like? Gray. Also, I just wanted to let you know I in fact do have a co-worker. His name is, oh, what's his real name? I think his name's Sora. I call him Elsie. Maybe one day I'll tell you why not a good reason. Oh my gosh, and I just had to show you guys, this is what I got from the Granite Hall store in Round Pond, Maine. It's an amazing little store. Anyway, he's my little potato buddy, and he cleans potatoes, and he gets the potato eyes out, and he looks like a little birdie, and everyone should have one. And this is our pizza cutter. Yep. I just wanted to show you guys what I do at least 20 times a day. It's unlocked. But what's important is that he tries. <clears throat> oh my god. It was unlocked. Hmm? It was unlocked. Oh. <laughs> I got a letter. <gasps> oh, yay! It's from Kylie. I did. I did have tuna and hot dogs today. Not together, obviously. <laughs> I said I did, but I didn't have them together, obviously. Obviously. They're very timid, but they can be lured with pizza. So for those who don't know, which I assume is everyone, except for maybe Zach's a mama, Zach likes to take his socks off in random parts of the apartment every single day. You never know where they're gonna be. So I like to play, where are Zach's socks today in the morning? I'll look into all of the, um, predictable places, not where he took his shoes off. There they are! Today's Zach socks are by the bookshelf. 